Hey everyone, so today is going to be a little bit of a two-parter. It's going to be a review on some new stamping plates that I received from eBay and also um, a review on these Salon Express nail art paints. I got these at um, Five Below. They came in a, a box of two for two dollars. Um, these are special pigmented paints specially made for stamping. I have played with both of these uh, and with the plates a little bit just to get a feel for them before I did the review for you guys. So I'm going to start off and just tell you about the plates. The plates that I ordered are from Pueen, P-U-E-E-N. I got them off eBay. They were 25 plates for $20.99 with free shipping. Um, they came in this um, like leather case. Um, it opens up and the little carrier things come out like this. Um, I don't store my plates in like these kind of things. I keep them all in a binder and baseball cards, so this didn't work out for me, so I just, you know, set it aside. I'll probably give it away in like a swap or something, you know, for people who have plates who don't have anything storage or whatever. Um, doesn't do me any good. Um, the plates are a little out of order because I um, took some stuff off of them, uh, took the coating off of them. Um, the plates are fully lined in the back. Get this to focus. There we go. They're fully lined in the back. They're fairly thicker, so they're not sharp, so they won't cut you. And I'm just going to go through and show you the plates. This is uh, plate 17. All the plates have four images, four full nail images, and two smaller um, images. These um, are good size if you have like normal size nail beds and semi long nails. Um, they also have the um, the smile line so you can use them for just your tips also so that that's really nice of them so this is plate 17 this is plate 12 sorry they have haze on them from the acetone this is plate 12 this is 5 25 these are, the plates themselves are smaller than your like cheeky plates. Um, I don't have any of my cheeky plates right here to co size comparison, but these are a little, these are smaller um, circular plates. This is plate one, and they have all kinds of different holidays. They have Valentine's Day and Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, plus a lot of um, very cool designs. This is plate 24. They have um, some, a, a, quite a few different Damascus. They have some stars. Um flowers, all kinds of different ones. This is plate two, three, four, six, seven, Eight. I love this design right here. This is so cool looking. They've got a few different animal prints, plus they have this really cool peacock print. This is nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, so there's like a Valentine's Day print right there, 18, this design right here would be cool for galaxy nails because it has like the smaller dots plus the larger dots so it would be planets and stars, and this little design right here is awesome too. This would look good with like Hello Kitty, and it actually looks like there's some My Melody in there too. And we've got 19, 20. I love this design too for background. This would be awesome. This is 21, 22, and 23. So these plates, I like I said, I've played with them a little bit. The images are all very well stamped in there. They're they're high quality ones. Um, I'm very happy with all the designs and stuff. Like I said, they have like a wide range and um, so far have worked really really well. Um, so 
Um, I just did a basic, just, this is just like a crap coat of just like a teal that I made. Um, cause I was going to do it on these and I kind of ran through already and I can't get a full nail image on these cause they're too close together. I need to get different, um, things. So, um, I'm going to use these ones for the small images. I also have a couple pieces of paper on the side here to help out. So, like I said, I'm going to be using these two these Salon Express ones, and I, I have used these um, before, like, um, playing around to see what I liked and what I didn't like about them before I said, okay, here, let me just do a video on them, and then also I have this, this black, this is a Sinful Colors black that I had that um, had gotten goopy, and it is a mixture now, it has some um, Sinful Colors, some of the Salon Express hyperpigmented, and then it's also got some a little bit of clear mixed into it and some um, Wet n Wild black in there, just to make it so it's a little bit more runnier. And I put um, a uh, an agitator bead in there to help out. So I'm gonna get some of my stuff set up here. I have some lint-free wipes that aren't, aren't really lint-free, which is very upsetting to me. Um, I just put some acetone. I like to wipe off my plates in between use and everything else like that. So I got that. And then just a regular old stamper and um, my favorite scraper. I prefer plastic scrapers over metal scrapers because they don't damage your plates. The metal scrapers do tend to damage, so um, I don't use them. So I'm going to start out with uh, plate 24 here. I'm going to do this star design. I'm going to use this black, and um, so far, I'm not impressed, but I'm not hating it either. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to. When I first bought it, it was very, thi uh, very thin, so I left it open for a little while, so it would thicken up just a little bit, but it's still not as thick as I would like it. So, you know, you do it like you would normally do your stamping. Um, put some on there and scrape it off at a 45-degree angle and pick it up. And so here is the, uh, sorry, my camera's having issues focusing. Here it is. You can see that it, it missed some spots and it didn't pick up all the way. Um, I've noticed that this does it. And if you sit too, let it sit too long, it doesn't um, go on the nail very well. So that is what it looks like. Not horrible. It's better than, say, using just a regular old black. Um, for $2, I would say that it it's, might be worth it once it thickens up a little bit more. So, there is the black. I'm going to find a design and use the white. I'm going to you do this fishnet with the white. And the white is thin as well, which is kind of frustrating because, like, white is a, a harder one that I've found, um, I've had trouble finding as far as um, full coverage and everything. I haven't been able to find a white short of getting a special po uh, pigment polish. But you can see the white actually picks up better than the black. Um, it always has. So that's the white. And there it is. A nice coverage. It gives it, you know, it's not as white white as I would like, but it does give a good coverage. So, you know, for two bucks, for a dollar a piece, I guess I can't be too unhappy with them. And so I'm gonna go into this. This is a um another full nail image. This is I'm gonna go with the one up top here, it's spider webs. I'm gonna use the white again. This one picked up very well. You can see right there, nice and good coverage. And as you can see, I have sh they're shorter nails, but I get full coverage on my nails. And then you know you clean them up like you normally would. And all the lines come out really crisp, really clean. I have some plates that are cheaper, ones that I've, like, knockoffs that I bought from China and stuff. And these thinner designs don't come out as well, which is kind of frustrating. But you can see those are some nice crisp lines. I'm going to clean that off. And 
let's see. I'll do these spike these just shattered lines here. I'll do use the black for that to show you the difference between the black and the white. Um, like I said, the black I I left open for a while so it would thicken up because it was super super thin. Like you wouldn't imagine being a, um, a, a stamping polish that it would be a, that thin. Gave me fairly good pickup. And fairly good deposit. Like I said, I just have like a crappy coat. Like I didn't even like pay attention to my lines or anything before, like on my nails. I just did a quick coat. So there's that. So now I'm going to move on to some of the other images that are on here. Um, some of the smaller images just to show you what they look like. Um, and then I'm going to show you a comparison of the the paint that I made versus the paint that I bought. I'm going to do on the same color with the same image. So this is the special polish, the Salon Express special polish. It will focus, come on. So it missed some areas, but for the most part, it's a nice stamping polish. And then here is my polish that I made. It's nice and thick. Clean, it scrapes off really, really well. Picks up awesomely. And here they are. Let's see, focus a little bit better. There we go. You can see that my polish that I made is a little bit darker and has a little bit better coverage, but um, I've noticed that I like my polish a little bit better because it doesn't have as many mess ups as the other polish. So there's that. <laughs> Sorry. Good job, sweetie. Sorry, my kid's playing um, ABC Mouse. So I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to use a different image, um, a thicker image. This is a bow. Good pickup again. And I'm going to put it on this orange color here. And um, with the special polish, I've noticed that sometimes it does that where it doesn't dis distribute the whole image and it picks up and you can just like brush it off, which that's kind of frustrating to me a little bit, but you know, whatever, what, what can you do? So that is the special polish. And then I'm going to use my polish now that I made. Oh, I didn't get the whole image on there. Ew. I'm going to try that one more time just because um, the way the nails are shaped, I couldn't get the whole image on there. I went too far over. And uh, with the special polish, okay, hush. You don't have as much time to work with it. And then so there is my polish. Sorry, guys, it's not focusing very well. I apologize. So that's my polish, a very, very nice, thick, dark image. And then there's that one, um, the special polish. So like I said, I like my polish that I made better than the Salon Express. But if you have a five below around you, I would recommend that you pick this up if you don't have like any cone ads or anything else like that. Um, like I said, they take a little bit of work. You, you have to let them dry out a little bit just because they're too thick, but once you get them to a consistent, or too thin, I'm sorry, once you get them to a consistency that you like, they actually do work fairly well. Um, they work better than just a straight black nail polish. They give fairly good coverage. Like I said, the only thing that like I say that I hate absolutely is that how thick, um, how they don't deposit all the way and how they lift up a little bit when you're depositing them. 
But uh, other than that, like for two bucks, I would say go ahead and buy it. Like um, not the worst thing I've tried, not the best thing I've tried, but go ahead and buy it. And as far for the queen plates, I would definitely recommend if you don't have them, pick them up. They are a wonderful, great quality. Um, they work really, really well. They have really cute images on them. Um, here's just a few that I was playing with stamping out earlier. Like this right here is my polish. And this is my polish, and then this is the stamping polish. You can see that the polish that I use is quite a bit darker and more defined. Again, my polish versus the other polish. This, this one right here is my polish, but you can see that it crisp lines, very good quality. Um, these are all the special stamping polish. You can see that they didn't, you know, they smudged a little bit and stuff uh, and uh, didn't pick up the full image, but... For the most part, I would say the special polish from Salon Express for two bucks, if you can find it for that cheap, definitely worth it. So um, thank you for joining me. I hope this review helped you as far as like finding some new plates and I will see you at the next one. Bye guys.